Hello and welcome to the United States Arm Wrestling Championships coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, the city of entertainment. What a show we've got lined up for you today in this first part. We've got arm wrestlers from all over the world and they're here to take on the best from the United States of America. Today, we're going to be showcasing the 176 pound men's weight class. And we're also going to be looking at the 154 and below ladies and also the 154 and above. This should be a phenomenal competition. But first of all, let's have a little bit of a look at the rules of this exciting strength sport. First, you must get a grip in less than a minute or the referee will put you in a grip. Your elbow must keep contact with the pad at all times. Your free hand must always touch the peg. Start after the referee says, ready, go. To win, you must pin your opponent's hand to the opposing touch pad. Any violation of these rules will lead to a foul. This is a double elimination tournament run on a bracket system, meaning if you lose twice, you are out of the tournament. Okay, today for this tournament, we've got a legend of arm wrestling with me here in the studio. Mr. John Brzezink of Salt Lake City, Utah. This guy is widely renowned as the best arm wrestler of all time. John, good evening and welcome, man. Neil, how are you feeling today? Good to be here. I'm feeling great. I can tell you, we're looking back at an unbelievable competition here. It's certainly going to be an unbelievable event. I know that we are showing the 176s today, and we've got to uh, rely on your expertise and input as we look through these matches, get a little bit of feedback, and you can hopefully tell us a little bit of uh, what exactly is going on up at the table. Sure, Neil, I'll do what I can. Let's have a quick look at some of this action. Okay, John, we are now seeing action from the preliminary rounds, the heats in Las Vegas today of the 176s. And a lot of people think that arm wrestling is just about the big men. We see a lot of well-rounded competitors here. Talk us through the kind of thing that we're going to expect. A lot of these seem very fast-moving matches. Yeah, you're, well, you're going to see some hook matches. You're going to see some what they call top row matches where you, the opponent is uh, being controlled. Uh, with the hand strength. We can see ability. the strap there as well. This is, a lot of people have thought that was a myth after the film over the top. <laughs> no, the strap, uh, believe me, exists and is alive and, and well. And how does that armor. change the game when you see sort of a strap match? What's the, the difference? Well, it, it takes it takes the hand away a little bit. Um, instead of having so much hand control, a, a competitor can actually pull a little bit harder with their arm with the, uh, with the help of the strap. Obviously, you see uh, Kevin Hicklin there getting into battles as usual. And yeah. we're back into the straps with Mike McGraw. You, you notice when the guy's in the strap, he has nowhere to run. They can't get away from the match. And that's got to make the fella who's controlling the situation feel real confident. Exactly. It, uh, it, it, it equalizes the hand strength game a little bit more. Alan Fisher, intense, intense. Alan total, 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 side there, yeah. total hand control expert. I mean, his hands are just huge. He's taking on Aaron Lundell, the Canadian here. So two real masters and experienced lads uh, yeah, these, competing these in These guys this. are, uh, yeah, the same age. They've been probably pulling his... his uh, the same amount of time and uh, they get into a war. The funny thing is with the 176 class that we're looking at now, you see the strength of these guys, but also the speed, the explosive element of the sport, and the fact that uh, these guys are away super quick every time. Sure. Well, arm wrestling mainly is fast twitch muscles. Um, you're going you're gonna to know that most of these guys are, if they were uh, track athletes, they'd be sprinters. And you can see the guys when they get into this kind of war situation. I mean, Aaron Lindell again from Canada, absolute battle at the table now. When you have a match like that, it must finish you for the day. It does. I mean, it, there's a lot of wear and tear, and you're going to see in the finals uh, some of the people, uh, you know, are going to, uh, you're going to, they're going to show that wear and tear. I mean, so the, the key is to get through the tournament with as little wear and tear as possible, and get the matches over with as quickly South, as possible. South Carolina lads here, Kevin Hickling Kevin back Hickling again. He's getting, again. He's, getting a, he's getting a bit He's getting a lot of work today. Hanson two hands is the style, and we're back to Alan Fisher. Fisher, this guy's really a legend of the sport. I mean, he's been there 20 odd years. Amazing individual. He's in his mid 50s and still competing at this level. It's Talking of monsters, there's one now in the yellow shirt, that's Svetan Gashevsky, uh, taking on Mike McGraw here, but uh, this Bulgarian comes with a big reputation for me. Big reputation. I hear he's going to retire here after this tournament, so uh, this will probably be his farewell uh, tournament, so I expect he'll be uh, quite well. Gashevsky, a guy who's a seven-time world champion, the last world championships widely regarded as the toughest tournament on earth. How do you think something like that compares with this kind of thing? Uh, well, I think... Uh, well, these guys are here. They're all here. So uh, this this event is it will be as tough, if not tougher, to win. And the top American guys, obviously, uh, these guys are used to competing against each other on the, the massive U.S. circuit. But it's going to be a rarity that they see people like Svetan Gashevsky coming over to their shores competing on home ground. Oh, I bet they they're excited to pull them. Though. I mean, we've got a lot of Canadians here today, and um, yeah, the international competition is uh, definitely. Pressing.
program. And it brings a new element into the sport without a doubt. Huh? I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these matches with the international guys in there. Kevin Hickman. There we got Kevin again. again. There. You were talking, I mean, <laughs> talking about him earlier. He's back in yeah. another war. So. Kevin, the South Carolina guy, who's definitely earning his crust to yeah, this competition. Yeah. Every time uh, we see him at the table, he seems to be in some kind of a war. And there's another interesting character, the man from Quebec, Denny yeah. Dupreel. This is a guy with uh, a tremendous yeah. amount of experience in the sport. Our man Hicklin again. <laughs> Hicklin <laughs> cannot avoid Gashefsky. anybody, and he's got Gashevsky oh, there. Oh, see, there's a wear and tear. I think from, right from, from what we can gather there from that, it looks like Kevin Hicklin yeah, probably he's, burned he's out before the finals got there. He's been in, I think he wrestled everybody in the class today. Harry Lundell and Mike McGraw. Mike seems to have a little bit of a top row advantage, and uh, Aaron's trying to pull through with a basic drive foot. Phenomenal amount of effort and energy put into each one of these matches. Kevin Hicklin, once again, absolutely warring at the Incredible, table. incredible endurance to be able to come back time and time again like that and be able to hold off these top defenders. Demonstrating, really, that you need to be really well-rounded in terms of strength and also you got to have that endurance. It's, it's a really intense way to do business. And these guys are well-rounded athletes. Bishop will be uh, speaking to this guy a little bit later on. John, as you can see there, from that footage, unbelievable match action we've got coming for you. We're going to take a short commercial break, and then we're coming straight back with interviews and action from the men's 176 pound class, the 80 kilos. Stay with us. Many combat sports, we see guys from Quebec, from this part of Canada, French Canadians, like in the UFC, they've got many, many top class Canadians. Is it something about combat sports, the warrior spirit that is present in, uh, in this type of area in Canada? Yeah, because uh, the grandfather is pulling and everybody in the family is pulling. It's, it, it's in Quebec arm wrestling. It's long time. It's long time pulling. So arm wrestling is in the blood. You start with arm wrestling when you're very small and just keep growing. That's it. That's right. We're now taking a look at the phenomenal Denny Dupriel from Canada. We saw him on the interview there, and he's facing Canada here. John, he's facing his own teammate in this match. Canada, Canada. Yeah, Canada. Yeah, two of the best Canadians in the sport of arm wrestling. Yeah, left-handed. And these guys obviously have a tremendous amount of experience, but you notice there they're very, very different in terms of the size. One a very big hand on Denny uh, in the white shirt right. and a small hand on Aaron Lingell. How was that, James? Well, things are going to be a little bit more equal. I see they've gone under the straps. And, um, yeah, I would imagine that Aaron's the game is going to be getting Denny wrist to wrist in a hook. We know that uh, Aaron Lingell, obviously, a real battler when he gets into that hook. I mean, he's a guy that grinds out results. Yeah, he's a, he's a tremendous pour with a, a lot of endurance. So if the match stops, uh, he's, he's, he's a favorite. We heard from the interview there, obviously, from Denny Dupriel, but uh, the guys in Quebec tend to pull from being babies right up to being grandfathers. Wow. And that experience is going to mean a big thing. This is a real war. That's crazy, crazy. crazy. Denny has... Uh, Aaron's uh, wrist flat, which makes it really difficult for Aaron to pull any, you know, put any side pressure. And what's Aaron got to do in this kind of situation? Uh, he's, 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 got, got, he's, got the, he's got the hook in, he's got his wrist curled back. Now he's back in the game. He's, he's able to play a lot more oh, side pressure. He goes for the win. Go. Wow, what that's a win. A, that's a great comeback. Oh, that's, a, that's an amazing win for uh, Aaron. Uh, he's with the death. I mean, that kind of thing, uh, is it a case of just hang on and give it the very best till death? Right. And Danny Dupriel here, he's got a very, very tough match. I think this is the uh, final eliminator for the right-hand final. And we see him here against Svetan Gashevsky of Bulgaria. The guy we mentioned earlier, Svetan, one of the best in the world, if not the best in the, the world. The best in Europe, yeah, going against the uh, best Canadian sport. So, uh, yeah, favorite is going to be Gashevsky. That's the man in the yellow t-shirt, and we get an oh. inverted there, slip out. Slip slip grip, so we'll be going to the strap. Is that something that people are actually trying to do? Is that the intentional slip no, or just part of the game? Yeah, of course not. It's, it's two top rollers that don't have a lot of control, and a lot of, there's a lot of back pressure there, and uh, the hand is not as strong as the, uh, the arm with the back pressure. So when you say top like, roll, that's really something where you're trying to you're open trying to, your you're trying to take your, Yeah, you're trying to take uh, wrist advantage, wrist and hand advantage of your opponent by putting them in a, a bad position. Straps are going to equalize that. There's going to be a lot more pressure down low on the wrist because there's a lot of pressure on the, on the wrist and the strap. Uh, this will equalize. Well, of course, no one's going anywhere. No one's slipping anywhere with the strap on. Well, they're, they're also able to use a lot more back pressure because they, they're tied. They're, they're tied to their opponent's wrist, so they can apply a lot more back pressure. Wow, big win for Kashevsky. Yeah, Straight to the pad. On there. Really got some power. He's, he's got an explosive top roll. Boom. Here in Las Vegas, the class is 176 pounds. But a little bird told me that you are actually lighter than that and you could go down to 165. Do you think the weight is really important in arm wrestling? Or is the tools about 
your genetic makeup that allow you to move up against the bigger guys. You know what it takes, uh, Neil, and you know this, it takes a, a good mental edge over, a, over your opponents. You've seen that. I've seen you in competition. You know what it's all about. It's that mental edge over the opponents. Sure. It doesn't matter how strong they are. What matters is if you came to win, if you came with all that training, and you're going to blast them on Ready Go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see Mr. Intensity at the arm wrestling table, he's been doing it more than 25 years, and he is right here. Keep your eye out for Alan Fisher. Alan, thank you very much. Thanks, bro. John, you heard him talking about it there. This guy says you need that mental edge, and you can see that the table, he's shaking oh, with intensity, okay. mate. And he's up against Kevin Hicklin, who's had some wear and tear today during the prelims. We talked about that earlier. I don't know if he's got any gas left in the tank. Nobody can have worked harder than Kevin Hicklin, but he must be so nervous going into this match against oh, I'm Fisher. Sure, I'm sure he's excited. It's, it's, all, it's all hell to, to be pulling against Alan Fisher in this situation. Alan Fisher is really such an experienced individual, and you can see there how much size this guy's got on his hand. It's really big. It's, it's huge for, for 176 pounder. It's just, uh, no, no more gas left in the uh, tank there. And that is unbelievable. We mm. see there Alan Fisher is just an absolute intensity freak. And this is going to be the ladies' section. Now, I'm wrestling for the ladies as well. Beauty and beasts rolled into one package. We've got the 154 and below ladies and the 154 and above ladies in action. And we're down to the final three athletes in here. And what a field, what a lineup. We've got USA, Canada, and Sweden battling it out. Then in the heavies, we've got Russia and Canada in there. Phenomenal today. We take a look at the lovely face there of Heidi Anderson. She is the world champion from Sweden. This is Carolyn Fisher. She's pulling now a side final eliminator, John. Which way do you see that? Whoa, it what goes, a hit. It goes right into a hook, and Heidi Anderson drags Carolyn down to the face. Oh, that's domination. And now we've got the a side eliminator final for our heavyweight ladies, the big girls, over 154. And the lady in the vest, Joyce King, world champion of Canada. And Lillian Very Paulina. Very powerful woman against uh, Lillian, uh, who is uh, really strong with the top rope. She, she's working on uh, Joyce's hand there. She's rocking. But every time she rocks, it looks like uh, Joyce gets a little bit more bite on her Sure, arm. she's gaining. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, all the way down to the pot. It's Joyce King from Canada, mate. What, what power? That's, that's extreme side pressure there. <laughs> you can see that's taking a tremendous amount out of Joyce she's King, thrilled. and she goes through now. Now, this is an interesting match. USA, Carolyn Fisher in the red, and the lady we haven't seen yet, that's Bob Selefra of Canada. Oh, she needs to get through Carolyn to uh, get a rematch with Heidi, and it goes to a uh, top roll of flip. We slip on. We're going to go with strap. The stra How do you see this one going, mate? The strap changes things. Well, from. it equalizes a little bit. Um, I'm not sure who's got the better arm strength. Uh, uh, Barb uh, has a little bit stronger hand, and um, would probably fare better out of the strap. But, uh, I know the whole world will be cheering on the Canadian here, because everybody wants to see that match wants again wants between the rematch. <laughs> sure. This is going to be intense. Bob looks to be anything a little worse position on that set of it, but uh, that can be a plan. Oh, Carolyn gets the hit. Oh, Bob yeah, there you go. It right back. It's Canada, and we get to see There's that There's a little final. adrenaline going. You see the <laughs> little quiver in the, the end of cheek? Bit. Wow. <laughs> She was really keen for that one. She psyched up. But the big news there is we get to see that final that everybody wants to see. It's going to be Heidi Anderson Heidi of Sweden. And, Heidi and Barb. And Barb Selepa. And that's a headline match anywhere in the world of arm wrestling, mate. Yeah, stay tuned. We're going to go into a short break, and then we come straight back with the finals of the ladies and also the 176 men's. Stay with us. This is going to be fire. Ladies and gentlemen, I get all the good jobs. People think arm wrestling's about big beefy blokes. Not the case. Check out the honey. Heidi Anderson at the side of me. Very, very sexy. Heidi, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Joking aside, this lady is a beast. Five times world champion, and you come here as favorite today. How does that make you feel? Uh, today, it, it was very interesting to meet Barb because I've never, ever met her before, mm -hmm. so. And it's not over yet. You're going into the final, and that's the match that everybody wants to see. Are you super confident now? You've got the action today under your belt. Your nerves are all gone away, and you look on fire up there, Heidi. It's always better to be in the in the A side in the final, but you never know. You have to to do it in 100%.
Now, talk to me a little bit about the land of ice and snow in Sweden. I thought it was just about husky dogs and people who are nine feet six. But apparently, arm wrestling's going crazy out there. They did a documentary on you over there, and the success of this thing has been wild. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. The arm wrestler from Solitude. The small community where I live and the small village is, uh, and the name of it is the Solitude. And it's very fun because arm wrestling right now, it's going, it's not going up like this, it's going up like this. It's Sweden. So, and we're good starting school in the yeah, autumn the this year, arm wrestling schools. So you've got arm wrestling schools for kids yeah. you're bringing through the juniors? Yeah, they're starting, it's a gymnasium and you can study arm wrestling. Wow, I think I'm going to move to Sweden. Women that look like this and you can start arm wrestling from a kid. They'll be growing beasts and riding on huskies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look out for Heidi Andersson of Sweden. She's very sexy and very strong. Nice. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Brzezink, it's on. Heidi Anderson, Barb Zalepa. Can it be as fast as last time? It, it, it could possibly be. Barb has had some, some hard matches. This is, oh, there you go. In a hook, in a hook. <laughs> Can you say right, about that? to the pad, amazing. I mean, we've seen her do that twice today. Just Phenomenal stuff. Slams. Heidi Anderson there, hitting the pad. Just hammering that one. Slams, slams the wrist into a hook and, and drags her to the pad. This is what a lady power? that, she, I mean, she looks like a, like a primary school teacher. Bit of a honey, but uh, you can't believe that kind of power from that guy. Wow, and, and the world better take note. It looks, sounds like Sweden's going to start producing some, uh, some monsters. It certainly <laughs> does, and if the monsters look like that, we're all going to Sweden. We've got another break, and we're back with more finals. Take it easy. John, this is for the money. We go now into the ladies over 154 pound class and we've got Joyce King of Canada, a multiple world champion, and she's facing Lillian Paulina of Russia. And Lillian is absolutely huge, but Joyce King, we've seen her already beat this lady. She's on the A side. Look at the size of these two ladies. I mean, Lillian Polina there in the black shirt of Russia. This girl is truly huge. And Joyce King, I mean, if my mother looked like that, is a scary lady. She is a huge lady in terms of upper body development, John. Jo Joyce definitely has the arm strength advantage. The uh, uh, Lillian has the hand advantage. If she can get that top roll off hard. Oh, there she goes, exactly as cold, does. mate. There's the top roll, and it's a, that's an easy win. Easy win. Looks, looks easy for uh, Lillian. She didn't do any rocking. She's straight, to the, straight to the back. Lillian just rolled her straight over. Now then, we go to our men's 176 final. Alan Fisher, United States of America's own Mr. Intensity, and he faces the smooth and calm Svetangashevsky. Bulgarian legend, arm wrestling master and seven-time world champion against a guy who has got 25 years experience in the sport and more titles than most people will ever dream of. What a final in prospect here, mate. The most explosive arm wrestler in, in the sport, probably Alan Fisher. Um, intimidating as hell. It will snarl the whole time during <laughs> a setup um, against, uh, I think, a little bit fresher Gashevsky. So uh, Alan's got his work cut off for him. This is going to be a hell of a final. Let's take a look at this one. Svetan Gashevsky, Bulgarian master, and Alan Fisher, the legend of the United States of America. Here we go now, and you can see Fisher's already, oh, he's already getting the into salt. the zone. Oh, wow. Get into the Fisher zone. It's the place to be. And look at the calm face of Svetan Gashevsky in the yellow shirt there. A real clash of styles mentally and physically here. Yeah, they're, uh, they're both definitely focused for this final. Right? Alan, is, <laughs> Alan, Alan, is, Alan is in a different uh, world right now. Do you think he's up for this one? Oh and my word. Is, is he's been here before. He's been here for many times. So. There's so much experience at the table right now. These guys are the masters of the game. I mean, Svetan Gashevsky, arguably the most technical arm wrestler of his generation at this weight class. Job. Both of these guys are extremely powerful forms, extremely powerful hands. Yeah, you can see the intensity of Fisher now shaking, and both men loading. Look at Fisher's face. This is a massive hit. They both go for the top row, and it ends up being a slip. Wow. There's not a lot to call from that one. It could go either way, this. Definitely could. You know, uh, the strap will be uh, definitely uh, tell who's got Alan the better side. Alan Fisher is revved up <laughs> beyond. Look at that. I mean, that just for everybody's uh, information watching at home, Alan Fisher there is not pulling that face because his moustache is itching his nose. This guy really is that intense. This fella is unbelievable. Wow, this is so important uh, you know, to maintain that intensity even on the uh, 
during the setup here and with the referees applying the strap. Uh, Alan Fisher needs to be aware of where that strap is being located. It looks like the strap is extremely low on Krzyzewski. I, I, it looks like it, it would be a huge advantage. I noticed there that Fisher is looking directly at Svetan, and Svetan's just avoiding his gaze entirely. Is that an, an important part here, the mental aspect? I mean, well, I, I, these guys are both 25 years, 30 year pros. I mean, so it, it, the, the, the intimidation is not going to be a factor, but uh, just, just being cool and getting your grip is. How does the position on the, the, the strap vary? I mean, look how low Svetan's got it there. Yeah, and that's, and that's the key. I mean, you want that strap as low as you can get it because it's 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 going to be more of a leverage advantage because the lower on the arm, the better. Set to go here. And the, the, the risk. Oh, massive hit from Fisher, but look at that from right. Gashevsky. What happened there, John? I mean, Gashevsky just powered him over. I mean, maintained good hand position, kept his hand high, was low on the strap, let Allen basically break his own wrist back. Um, got him, Huge hit from got the him stretched out, Got him stretched out and then pumped it one time for the win. Driving wow. that one down. What a pull. And that, those good. guys hit hard, great, mate. Great final. We got some unfinished business now in our over 154s. The ladies, the big girls, they're back at it. And what's it going to be? Joyce King, Lillian Polina, and it's for the money now. Right. Um, Joyce knows what she needs to do. She needs to stop Lillian. Lillian needs to hit hard and straight to the pad. We've got a real clash of techniques now. The girl with the long arm, the height, the leverage, and the girl with a raw top end. Who are you going to go for? I'm going to go with Joyce. Here we go. Look at the size of Lillian Polina. The Look at the rushes. back. <laughs> Massive what? muscularity. I on wish that I had body. that kind of a back, Neil. <laughs> it's pretty scary. She is a fearsome, fearsome lady. And this girl has so much power. But a lovely girl off the table. You know, Joyce. Looks like they're having a little, little problem with the setup. I'm sure Joyce has come back into this fire mode. You know, she's just lost so fast there. And no oh, wonder where they go. And, and that's bad for Lillian. It's the match is stopped in the center of the table. She's doing what she did in her previous loss. She's pumping Joyce. Trying to gain hand control, but she's got the rest. She's got the leverage advantage. Look at the power from King. That's wow. incredible. Driving down now with that tricep. Oh, there it is. It's the Canadian girl, John. Unbelievable stuff from Joyce King, and you can see she's exploded. That's a phenomenal match. And Joyce King, the world champion of Canada, proves it. That's a great win for Joyce King. What an unbelievable final. I think you'd have to agree that was a fair series of arm wrestling matches. Yep. Professional arm wrestling conference bringing you the very best in the world. United States Arm Wrestling Championship Series 1. We've got more to come, and it can't get better than that, surely. It gets better. We're going to see you in action as well <laughs> in those finals. <laughs> Ladies and gents, thank you very much. We will see you again on the United States Arm Wrestling Championships, brought to you by the Professional Arm Wrestling Conference. Keep at it. Keep training.